Today I'm going to be showing you how I styled my sister's low density short curly hair. She has hair that is very similar to mine but also very different. We have a different texture. She has a slightly different curl pattern. Her hair is a little bit more low density than mine and she recently has been experiencing postpartum hair loss. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here we make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love talking about the science of hair, doing step-by-step -step tutorials, and really helping you problem solve so that everyone can achieve healthier curls. We are starting off with freshly washed hair and she actually just got a trim. My mom trimmed her hair. She used to cut hair, so she always trims her hair for us. But this is her product free hair, no products air dried after she just got a haircut. So I'm going to be wetting down her hair entirely because it is fully dry right now. So I'm using my spray bottle to wet it down. It's really funny because my sister is very low maintenance. She does not like to put a ton of time into her curls. She likes to do just what she needs to to get them looking good and get out the door. So I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a styling routine on her, more so my routine where there is some more styling involved and I wanted to teach her some of the brush styling techniques that she was interested in learning about and some other things. So we'll be testing out some styling techniques on her hair where she usually doesn't do much styling. Especially now that she is a new mom, she has even less time for her hair. We were visiting at my mom's house, so she is watching the baby so we can do her hair. So we're starting off with the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm. I actually told her to get this product and this is the first time that she is trying it out because she's someone that usually just uses a curl cream. And after I tried this curl cream, I really liked how it gives a little bit of a soft hold. So I thought it would be perfect for her because you can use it as a one and done styler. But if you want your hair to last longer, you definitely need to add in a gel, which I'm going to be doing with her hair. So she normally doesn't use gels. She normally only styles with curl cream. So I wanted to use a curl cream that was gonna help to find her curls and also give her a little bit of hold so that way when she restyles her hair on her own and uses just a curl cream she'll at least have some hold in there but i definitely think she should try incorporating a gel at least in the summertime when the curls don't tend to hold up as good so we are going to be using my favorite wee dad gel here in just a moment so then i'm just going to be using my tangle teaser brush to brush through her curls and make sure that curl cream is evenly distributed and just smooth out all of the tangles and any frizz she was asking me isn't this just going to pull out my curls by brushing through them because she's used to just rinsing out her conditioner, scrunching in some product and going. And I was explaining how even though this is looking like it's straightening out your curls, we're going to do some styling afterwards. So they are going to come back. I like to just kind of smooth everything out first and then go in and scrunch and do some styling. So this is definitely a different method for her. So I was just showing the difference when you do incorporate a brush, but you don't have to. You can totally do the quicker routine too, like she normally does, where she she just scrunches in some product and lets the curls kind of go in their natural state as well. That works as well. This is just a little bit more of a detailed styling for longer lasting curls. So we are going to be sectioning, which is also new to her. She doesn't normally section her hair either, but especially when I'm doing hair on someone else, it's just easier for me to kind of see what I'm doing and work in sections. And that way I can do a little bit more precise styling, which in turn helps the curls last a lot longer. So I wanted to try doing some brush styling before applying gel. So I'm actually going to just brush style the bottom section first and then scrunch in some gel afterwards, just so we're not using too much gel. Since she's not used to using gel, I didn't want to go overboard with the gel. And I'm also explaining to her how you can use the brush to brush your hair up and away from your scalp. So I was showing her how you can really lift your roots to get more volume. Now we're going in with my favorite gel. This is the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Stronger Hold Gel. It's a very thin liquidy gel. You can even add some water to dilute it even more if you don't want as much hold. So that's what I was doing here. And then we're just going to scrunch it in. So I'm so excited to show her how it turns out with the gel and how much longer the curls last. So I'm just clipping that hair away and moving on to the next section. I like to do about three sections, but you could totally do less sections or you can skip sectioning altogether. You'll actually get a fuller look, but it is a little bit easier to brush style in sections because then you're not grabbing hair from different sections and just getting confused or getting tangles. So I'm just focusing on brushing her curls first to smooth everything. And then I go underneath to help lift them up and away from the scalp. 
Then I'm just making sure that the curls aren't too clumped together because if you have low density hair like us, if you clump your curls too much, it's going to have less volume and fullness. So if I notice any curl clumps that are very chunky and just thicker, I go through and separate them with my hands while they're wet. It's a little bit easier to do that than trying to do that once your hair is dried. So next you will hear us chatting about how brush styling can really help your curls last longer, but if you have damaged hair, you don't want to be brush styling. Fortunately, hers is super healthy. And I was telling her how I'm trying to give up brush styling and brush style less, but I love my results better with it. And we were also talking about wearing a bonnet because she's tried before and just can't seem to get it and she wants to be able to protect her curls at night. So let's cut to that. I like to brush the top and the bottom section to just smooth it. And you don't even have to do like each curl. Like I just took that whole section, it fits in the brush and I just like go like that and that tension. So maybe it's the brush that I need. Oh, I love maybe it. Maybe the brush would help my I'm, routine. I've been trying to give up the brush because sometimes it can be a little damaging if your hair gets, um, if you get breakage easily. So I've been trying to not do it as much. I don't think I get breakage that You easily. probably won't. I don't. Yeah. But it was just the falling. The last episode. couple of weeks, it's been awful and stringy and not lasting. Mm -hmm. And I've been complaining about it. I'm like, that's what it is because I brush styled on Friday yeah, and now it looks amazing again. I see. I'm like, that's what it was. Oh, it I looks wasn't... better when you brush styled? Yes. I see. But you were worried about the breakage that you stopped? Yes. And I wasn't liking my results. And I, I think see. that's why. Like the brush makes the chunky curl ringlet. So mm -hmm. when you wake up the next day, yeah. they're still there. They're not stringy and falling apart. Like, So I haven't been able to wear the cap. <laughs> we gotta get you a right size. That's the problem, I think. Try again, I guess. Your hair should stay up here like a mushroom. It should be hanging it. down here. No, but your hair should be plopped on top of your head like this. That's how I put it when I go to sleep. I do. Is Here's it tight like, enough to hold no, it up? That's I mean, the problem, yeah. But I do, I pull it off my neck and I pull it up like that to help though. Yeah. To not make it flat. I mean, I move around so it's not perfect, but it is up top. Yeah. I just think... I don't know how big yours is, but I just see that with a lot of people where like it's just not able to hold it up all night. You don't have to wear one as long as you're sleeping on a silk pillowcase. Please tell me you're sleeping on a silk pillowcase. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I didn't last night. Didn't last night, but yes. Yeah. Okay, so for the top section, I'm brushing it straight up, like how yeah. my mom was cutting your yeah. hair, and I her roots feel. are pointing up. Yeah. See yours when you like go through it, the hairs stay together. Mine, it like feels all rough. I don't know. It's more coarse. I'm trying to cover your scalp, like, because I yeah. have this problem too where it separates back here. Mm -hmm. So I like to keep maybe a little part so it's not my face. So we'll keep this part, but this is going back. Mm -hmm. See how it's like a vertical? Mm -hmm. And then you put it like this, hold it downward, and see how it's like flattened against the brush, and then pull it up. And then you have to kind of encourage it because I might be going in the wrong direction. Also, your hands being wet help too because mm -hmm. your hands will make frizz because they're sticky. Did you used to have your part on this side? Mm -mm. That's no, that's from the, yeah. the hair loss. It's coming back though. Look at all your short mm -hmm. hairs. You've got one that goes towards your face and one that goes away. That's what I have too. So you can't force it to clump together with the brush. You yeah. gotta clump it separately. Oh, okay. Or else they'll just fall flat and then you get two straight pieces. Oh, that's probably what happens then. Mm-hmm. What? There's a hair that spiraled so tight like a corkscrew. <laughs> like... I don't know if you'll be able to see it. In the mirror? Yeah. See if you can see it in the mirror. You see that? Oh yeah, I have some. <laughs> So after having a good laugh about the random rogue hair that we all tend to get, we are ready to diffuse. So she typically doesn't diffuse her curls. She's typically someone who air dries. I don't even know if she owns a diffuser. I need to ask her, but I wanted to see what her curls would do with diffusing. Plus we're able to get the hair dried and have more control over how it's going to turn out right away versus waiting four hours from now to show you all the final results. So I wanted to diffuse. So I'm doing some cup diffusing and some scrunch diffusing to really enhance her curls. I had her lean over first just to really lift the hair up off the scalp but you can totally do this upright i usually like to do some of both upside down styling and right side up styling this is my favorite diffuser because it has a really large diffuser head so it actually dries your hair faster without having to use really high heat because it covers more surface area at one time so this is great for people who don't have a lot of time or if you don't want to spend time diffusing so one thing that she could do is incorporate diffusing for maybe just five minutes or so to really set the curl especially if you're using something like this that does dry really fast and then just finish air drying that way you can set the curls the way you want and then just finish air drying so you don't have to spend 20 minutes diffusing I 
also like to take the prongs of the diffuser and really lift up the roots with them. This is a great way to get more root volume, more lift at the top, and just overall more fullness. I also wanted to show her these curl keeper clips that you can use to give yourself even more root volume. So you can do this while you're diffusing, just add them in at the end or she could use these just while she's air drying. So I'm gonna give her some of these, that way she can have them for air drying because this is a great way to create root lift even with air drying because at least it's lifting the hair up off of the scalp. The last step once your hair is completely dry is to fluff out the roots and scrunch out any of the gel cast. She didn't have a ton of a cast because we didn't use too much gel. We really played it light with the gel. If you feel any damp areas, definitely go back in with the diffuser because you want your hair to be completely dry. Her hair actually dried it really fast, which was great because we were starting to get really short on time with the baby needing her soon, but we just scrunched out a little bit of cast that was left, fluffed out her roots upside down. I really like to do this upside down because it helps give more volume. And then I'm just kind of twirling some of the pieces that might have separated out of their curl clumps. And I'm also separating some really large curl clumps because even though we tried to do this while it was wet, sometimes they do still clump together. So I'm just going around and separating some of the really large ones. And she was telling me about how long this process takes and how she needs a very short routine. Totally get it. This is something that's gonna last her a lot longer though. And she actually did say that she didn't have to do really any refreshing. I think these curls held up almost a week, which was really great to hear. If you want to see an even faster routine, I actually created one inspired by her recently where you can see like my fastest wash day routine start to finish. It's under 35 minutes, so I can link it for you down below. But here are her final results. I loved how this turned out. It's really amazing to see in the before and afters how much more moisturized the hair looks. It even looks darker when it has enough moisture in it compared to without products. Her ringlets are so defined. You can definitely see where her curl pattern is so similar to mine. It just starts a little bit further down, which is very common. A lot of people have this. I thought it really turned out great though, and I love that it lasted her a long time too. I had so much fun styling my sister's curls, and I would love to do more of these, so definitely let me know if you want to see me style the rest of my family's hair. We actually get our hair texture from both my mom and my dad. My mom has more of like a 2B, maybe like 2C curl pattern. She has some waves, and she's a redhead too, by the way, and then my dad has really tight curls. But yeah, I would love to maybe do this for my mom's hair because she doesn't wear her hair curly. Like she actually still straightens her hair and sometimes she'll wear it curly, but she's somebody who goes back and forth constantly between straight and curly. So she has a lot of damage in her hair so it doesn't curl up as much. But if you guys would love to see me do my mom's hair, definitely let me know and I will do that. I will include all of the products that I use and the tools and everything in the description box down below if you're interested in getting any of them. If you would like more help with your low density curls, check out the new playlist that I have on my channel. It's all about styling low density curls. There are so many different videos that I've done, everything from styling your curls to choosing products and everything in between if you have thin curly hair. So that playlist will be linked right here on the screen and I will talk to you over there. Bye everyone.